200 foot tall SpaceX rocket about to blast them into space past the speed of sound. Here we go. Vehicles pitching downrange. T plus 30 seconds. Pullouts indicate nominal. The Spark mission flame the Inspiration 4 crew. On board driving and top the name. Late meal with the crew in the capsule. We're into the throttle down, into the throttle bucket. Okay, you do on throttle down. Throttling down in preparation for the period of maximum dynamic pressure. So uh, what we're, we're seeing here, they just called maximum dynamic pressure. Uh, as they get higher in the altitude, the forces build up on the, on the vehicle. Uh, it's an important piece to get through, but everything's going really well. What I think is really cool here, too, is that it's a night launch. So we're going to see quite a show because <laughs> you're going to see you know, it's light up the night sky. When the booster returns, we'll see that as well. So it's uh, night launches, for, especially for this vehicle, are, are even more spectacular, I think, than what you see during the day. I tell you, my heart was uh, beating because oh, yeah. as Looks soon like as you see those, the uh, there we go. We got the thumbs up from the crew. Yeah. See, you know what's incredible about this? Not only watching uh, the rocket live take off, but being able to see the picture of the four uh, inside yeah. as well. Yeah. Just that dual image, and you can hear the cheering inside. Okay, so this is this is this is a great sign. This is really good. Yeah, everything's going well. Uh, we hear the cheers of the control room. Absolutely. So what's happening is I, uh, I think we just had staging. So this is part of the show that we're going to get tonight. That I, it, I've seen. I, I was at the launch back in April. My friends who are up there in space now, uh, Shane Kimbrough, Megan MacArthur, and a couple other, uh, Akiti Hosh Aki Hoshidi from Japan. I'm a spec out from, uh, from France. Anyway, they so they went up, up back in April, crew. and I, it was a night launch, and we got to see this spectacular sight we'll that we're seeing now. Cutoff, followed by stage separation, looking at the second stage engine nozzle, and then ignition of the so second stage. So they're looking for the second stage to ignite here. And we're going to see... Go. Okay, so... Cool. There it goes. There it goes. And, uh, and we see that engine ignite, which is a really good sign. So that's staging. So the first stage is done. It's going to come back to Earth and hopefully land on a platform, which is amazing accomplishment. And we're going to we're probably going to be seeing two two views here. The one on the left is the vehicle coming back to Earth, landing on a platform in the middle of the ocean. When I saw them demonstrate this return capability of that booster, I became a believer in SpaceX about 12 years ago when they first did it, because I was like, I don't know if this can really work. But to be able to figure this out, to return the booster back to a, to a, a not even, it doesn't have to come back to land. They can return it out to in the ocean. To an actual target. To a target in the ocean. It requires very little fuel to do that. So they can use most of the fuel to get to space. Uh, just a little bit is, is needed to return it because it lands back out in the ocean but the technology involved is mind-boggling at night in the ocean you know so they can reuse it so the two things that I think are key to this that this new space age that we're seeing here is the automation that allows uh, almost anybody to go and the reusability they're gonna get that booster back to be able to use it again Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.